Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We're heading to Chipotle. That's right. Maybe Joseph Carlson's right. Maybe Chipotle is an AI company. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> but in this video, we're going to talk about gold. Because I was surfing the YouTube interwebs. I was clicking and sitting on my butt, chilling this weekend. And I noticed that Peter Schiff, the old famous, world famous Peter Schiff, celebrating because he's like oh gold's going up it's almost at all time highs gold 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 and it really prompted me to make another video about peter schiff number one in gold so let's talk about gold first is gold a viable long-term investment in my humble opinion it is 100 percent not a long-term investment it is a commodity it is something that does not produce cash flows. It is literally something that is traded between people based on whatever they think the value should be. I mean, obviously there's supply and demand, but it's not a company where you could sit there and say, okay, Apple is probably gonna make this much profit in 2024 and this much profit in 2025 and 2026, so I can kind of assign a value to it based on my assumptions. You can't do that with gold. It's literally a shiny rock that's it now how do you buy gold well you can buy the physical gold okay go to a broker a dealer and they'll charge a huge spread they'll buy it low and sell it high to you and you can own physical gold and then what do you do with that shiny rock you gotta hide it somewhere in your house or in a bank vault or something and that comes with additional costs so that's one way you can invest in gold the other way is that you buy a gold ETF. Now, I believe the ETF is called GLD. That's, I mean, I'm sure there's multiple ETFs out there. The one I look at usually is GLD. And basically, it's a bunch of gold that sits in a vault, and you are somehow the owner of that gold that is sitting in a vault, I think in like England. <laughs> one of the ETFs has all their gold in, under a vault in London, England. So, you own gold that's in a vault across the ocean if you're an American. And then you pay an expense ratio, which I think the last time I checked was like 0.4%. So you're, you're paying money every month to track the price of gold that you have in a vault overseas. Okay, okay. So you either own the physical gold, you pay huge spreads, or you buy paper gold that's traded on a stock exchange. And if you think about it, that, if you think about it, you know, there's a huge war, right? You know, the world ends, the zombie apocalypse. How are you going to get your gold out of London? You're going to go to London with zombies trying to eat your guts out? Of course not. So that's the two ways you own gold. It, does, does this not sound ridiculous to you? What is this shiny rock going to do for you in the apocalypse? I'd rather have other things like beans and things that go boom. I, I don't know if I can say that word because it's YouTube. I'd rather have that stockpiled than a shiny rock because I can just take from people <laughs> what I need <laughs> or barter. Probably take because I don't want to barter anything. So that's gold. Okay, it's garbage. But no, no, do not invest in gold. No, it's, I don't care what all these famous people say. It just, you can't value it. You really can't. So that's my thoughts on gold. Now, now we got to turn to the, the shills. Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm more Puerto Rico, bro. Yeah, it'll be the taxes, bro. So Peter Schiff is a clown. Okay. If you watch Peter Schiff's YouTube channel, what does he what does he talk? He just rambles like inflation, we're going to zero. He's basically a perma bear. All he does is talk about how the Federal Reserve doesn't really have any control and inflation is out of everybody's hands and we're going to have crazy inflation and it's going to be the end of the world and this and that and blah 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 blah. And the reason he does this, I mean, maybe he believes that. I don't know. Maybe he does. But I think part of the reason he does this is to shill his services. Now, he's got a couple things going on. He's got Schiff Gold, <laughs> which is like a gold dealer. And then he's got a bunch of um, investments you could buy in Euro Pacific Capital. Now, I've already reviewed Euro Pacific Capital. It's a ripoff. Okay, huge expense ratios and massive historic underperformance. But even if you didn't care about past performance, the future performance is going to be hampered by his high expense ratios that he charges. I don't recommend Euro Pacific Capital Funds, okay? On top of that, you gotta look at Shift Gold. Well, 
So he's the, he's the broker. Think about it. He's the dealer. And he wants you to buy gold. Why? Because the more people that are buying, buying and trading gold, the more money he can make. <laughs> it's all a joke. It's all, all this fear mongering. Oh, the Federal Reserve. Oh, it's inflation. Even though inflation has been going down like every single month, <laughs> basically. We went from what, 9% to like three now? Oh, it's hyperinflation. You need to buy gold, bro. It's all, it's all one massive grip. People, they either want you to buy gold mining stocks, which, I mean, okay, if you want to speculate, whatever. I don't think they should be a big part of your portfolio. Or they want you to buy gold. And when they buy, that's, that's all the business is, is convincing you to buy gold mining stocks or invest in their funds or buy gold. And Peter Schiff is no different. Okay, and I'm, I'm not saying he's scamming, but what I am saying is he has an incentive for you to buy gold, okay? <laughs> so you guys need to be careful out there. Don't buy, I mean, like, if you want to buy gold, uh, whatever, I'm not your financial advisor, okay? But I would rather own every company in the world in a tax advantage account and pay a super low expense ratio than either pay a huge spread to buy physical gold or to pay like 0.4% to buy gold that I own in a vault in London. <laughs> and, you know, people are going to get mad at this video because it's like, it's, it's got like, it's gold, it's the future, bro. And I always come back and I say, you like gold. The reason you invest in gold is because you listen to these clowns, number one. And you really haven't thought about what gold is. It's a shiny rock, okay? So I'm going to go in Chipotle and uh, uh, go go check out all the AI robots that are in there. Apparently, Chipotle's AI, bro. It's the future, bro. It's, they have an assembly line! <laughs> hey, be careful out there. Talk to you later. Cheers!